I don't know how I allowed myself to be treated like that for so long. Was I stronger than those who came after me but left before? Or was I just weak? I suppose I lacked self-respect. I mean, I lived under a house for Christ's sake. It was the racism and bigotry that finally got me going. He came home one night, drunker than my mother on New Year's Eve, banging his damn chest like some neo-Nazi. He opened the floodgates of my disgust. I remember every moment of the sleep I lost because of him. I remembered every bit of food he stole. As he laughed through his missing front tooth, I remembered the way he'd twirl his mustache when he was scheming to screw someone over. I remembered how he did that when he first offered me his place. I saw that he was, once again, only wearing one shoe, and I balled up my fist. I wanted to hurt him. I wanted to spray the words F**k YOU all over the house. I wanted to burn that house to the ground. I wanted to clog the drains with his precious pink-toed socks and flood it until it was condemned. I balled up my other fist, exhaled, and let go. I laughed it off, gave him weed, and when he was upstairs, singing from his soul, I got on Craigslist and found somewhere else to live. I haven't seen the actual place yet, but I have high hopes. The dude seems like a decent human being, and he's giving me a really good price because of my tight situation. So that's good. I just hope it's not another basement. But hey, anything has got to be better than Spud's house. <laughs>